good afternoon students uh, so today we are discussing the next chapter that is cost of capital basically basically the cost of capital is the minimum rate required by the investors because uh, we know that uh, investors invest money in the business just to get a return so if we are giving them a minimum expected rate of return to the investors they will be satisfied so how we can proceed with the cost of capital basically we know that in a sources of finance there are four major sources of finance one is equity share capital number two is preference share capital number three is a uh, debt that is debentures or bonds number four is retained earnings that is the internal source of finance so uh, we have to find the cost we are incurring uh, for financing from the four sources of finance so the cost of capital that is the introduction part the minimum rate of return that the firm earn on its investment so that the market value of the equity does not fall so basically it is minimum rate of return that is required by a investor so we have to be careful uh, for about our objective that is wealth maximization so what is the importance of cost of capital importance of cost of capital should be basically cost of capital should be used as a discount factor in uh, capital bursting decisions so here we study that line that is npv is calculated using the cost of capital as a discount factor the internal rate of return calculated is compared with the internal rate of return while selected the rejecting the project so basically we know that uh, the cost of capital or hurdle rate should be used as a discount rate in net present value method and we know that if our internal rate of return is uh, lesser than the discount rate then we will accept that project otherwise reject so there are basically components of cost of capital they are basically here we are discussing about three sources one is cost of debt we know that a debt either may be a redeemable or irredeemable but in practicality there uh, there is no irredeemable debt because we know that a loan can be issued for a specific period of time but when we are talking about a redeemable debt that is practically applicable but here we have to discuss the cost of two kind of debt one is redeemable second is irredeemable and when we are talking about a preference share capital or preference shares so cost of preference shares again it is of two types redeemable and irredeemable same like debt preference shares can be issued not more than 20 years means duration of preference share is also fixed so in practicality uh, irredeemable debt is nothing irredeemable preference shares are nothing so uh, here we have to find but in this chapter we have to find there are two cost of preference shares one is cost of redeemable preference shares and cost of irredeemable preference shares here uh, they divide the co the cost of equity into two parts one is normal equity that is equity share capital another is retained earnings so we will discuss one by one first is cost of debt second cost of preference shares then cost of equity so the first part is cost of debt when we are talking about irredeemable and redeemable debt again there are two parts either we are issuing debentures at par or premium or discount same like that redeemable debt is also issued for uh, you can say at a par value at premium or at a discount so first the cost of irredeemable debt when we are issued it at par so here the cost of debt uh, denotes as kd kd is equal to 1 minus tax multiplied with interest i stands for interest here uh, we have given an example example of cost of irredeemable debt that is issued at par 
A company has issued debentures worth rupees one lakh at par value of rupees one thousand, and the coupon rate is nine percent. What is the cost of debt? And the tax rate is fifty percent. If we are finding the cost of debt before tax, then that is given in the question that is nine percent. If we are talking about uh, cost of debt after tax, then we are applying the formula that is KD is equal to one minus tax multiplied by interest. So here the tax is fifty percent. So one minus fifty percent is equal to point five. That should be multiplied with nine percent. That is a coupon rate or interest rate. So which is equal to cost after debt, which is equal to cost after tax. Sorry. Cost cost after tax, which is equal to four point five percent. Then, cost of debt issued at premium or discount. Here we are uh, just comparing the two formulas. In the first formula, we are not talking about the principal value, but here we are talking about net proceeds. Net proceeds are basically the cost which is incurred by the company. So here, uh, net proceed is equal to face value plus premium. If there is any premium, that should be added. If there is any discount, that should be deducted. Minus cost of issue, such as advertisement or promotion, or any other printing material. So cost of issue is also known as flotation cost. So how we can find how we can proceed with the cost of irredeemable debt when that is at par discount or premium? A company issues the debenture worth rupees one lakh at a coupon rate ten percent. The company is in a tax bracket of fifty five percent. Calculate the cost of debt if debentures are issued at par at discount ten percent at premium ten percent. First of all, uh, we have already discussed at par. Here we will write I that is ten percent that should be multiplied with one minus tax. One minus tax is fifty five percent. One minus fifty five percent, which is equal to point four five. That should be multiplied with ten percent, which is equal to four point five percent. In the second formula, when the debt is issued at you can say discount that is 10% so when we are talking about discount 10% so here we will take net proceeds as given in the formula 1 minus tax tax is 55% multiplied with that bracket should be multiplied with interest rate interest rate is 10% upon 10% of face value 1 lakh multiply by 10% which is equal to 10000 and net proceed is 1 lakh minus 10% as a discount so we will find the rate that is kd is equal to 5% you can calculate on a notebook by applying this formula at a premium of 10% if the if the debentures are issued at a premium 10% then the value will be 1 lakh plus the net proceed value will be 1 lakh plus 10% which is equal to 1 lakh 10000 so here we are applying the same formula again you must noted one thing the interest or dividend always paid on the face value face value is actual cost which is equal to uh, 1 lakh rupees given in this question so if we are talking about the formula 1 minus tax that is 55% multiply by i i is a uh, 10% of 1 lakh which is equal to 10000 divide by net proceed net proceed is 1 lakh 10000 so we will find the value of cost of debt which is equal to 4.09% cost of redeemable debt in case of redeemable debt there may be a number of years after which we have to redeem we have to repay the loan or cost of debt so 
that is a uh, somewhat different from the previous formula here the kt which is before tax cost of debt before tax which is equal to i i stands for interest plus p p stands for par value or principal value minus net proceed that is in a bracket that should be divided by number of years number of years after which we have to redeem debentures that should be divided by whole should be divided by p plus net proceed that p stands for par value p plus net proceed divided by 2 we have to take an average of both the values so that total should be multiplied with 100 because we want to know the value in percentage for example a firm issues a debenture of rupees 1 lakh but it is able to realize only 98,000 due to 2% commission to the broker. 2% commission to the broker is also known as cost of issue and flotation cost. The debentures carry an interest of 10%. The debentures are due for maturity after 10 years calculate the cost of capital or cost of debt. So KD that is before tax which is equal to i that is interest plus par value minus net proceed upon n divided by par value plus net proceed divided by 2 so which is equal to interest is equal to 10,000 how 10,000 comes 1 lakh multiplied by 10 percent as a rate of interest so net proceed is equal to 1 lakh minus 2 percent as a brokerage which is equal to 1 lakh minus 2000 which is equal to 98000 that is a net proceed n number of years which is equal to 10 years and the par value we know that that is given in the question directly 1 lakh rupees so if we can apply these values in the above formula then kd before tax is 10.30 percent if we want to find KD after tax in case of redeemable debt that is equal to 1 minus tax that should be multiplied with cost of debt before tax. So we can directly calculate 1 minus tax if the tax rate is 50% say 1 minus tax multiply by KD is we have already found out that is 10.30 so which is half 5.30. 1, 5. Here we have given a one example at the below that is tax bracket is 55%. So you have to determine this value on your notebooks. Then there is a cost of preference capital. Cost of preference to capital is almost uh, same to the cost of debt. So here KP. KP stands for cost of preference shares which is equal to dp upon np so dp stands for preference dividend upon np stands for net proceed net proceed we can calculate as same in uh, cost of debt and preference dividend here there is no concept of before and after tax because interest is a tax deductible source if we are talking about uh, profit and loss account then interest should be charged before tax and we can calculate after tax so what is the impact of interest on tax so, but in case of preference shares in case of preference dividend there is no impact on the tax structure that preference dividend always always pay in case of profit only so here if you can take an example if a company raises the capital rupees 1 lakh by issuing 10,000 equal preference shares of rupees 10 each and the dividend rate is 10% calculate the cost of preference shares when preference shares are issued at par preference shares are issued at 10% premium pre preference shares are issued at 10% discount so we'll calculate one by one we know the formula KP that is uh, cost of preference shares is equal to preference dividend upon net proceeds. So in the par value 
when we are talking about power value so that is equal to 10 percent directly because in this question that is given 10 percent is preference dividend 1 lakh multiplied by 10 percent which is equal to 10,000 upon 1 lakh that is a power value multiplied by 100 which is equal to 10 percent but when we proceed with the preference shares are issued at premium then preference dividend is again that should be charged on the face value so 1 lakh multiplied by 10 percent which is equal to 10,000 net proceed is equal to power value plus premium so 1 lakh plus 10 percent which is equal to 1 lakh 10,000 so cost of preference shares is equal to preference dividend upon net proceed so which is equal to 9.09 percent in case of discount dp is equal to 10,000 as we have already calculated net proceed is here 1 lakh minus discount par value minus discount so that is equal to 10,000 minus 10 percent which is equal to 90,000 so here the kp is equal to 11.11 percent so when we are talking about cost of preference shares that are redeemable preference shares and the formula is almost same as we have followed in cost of debt here we are using only uh, some changes such as kp is equal to d plus p minus net proceed upon n divided by p plus net proceed upon 2 again we are taking average at the bottom so here p stands for principal amount so if we can uh, there are some mistakes in uh, ppt when i have sent some to the gmail so we can proceed with the same formula uh, a firm issued preference shares of rupees 100 each generating a proceeds of rupees 1 lakh the dividend rate is 14 percent and the preference share will be redeemed after 10 years flotation cost is 5 percent determine the cost of capital so here the dividend is a dividend rate is 14 percent 14 percent of 1 lakh which is equal to 14,000 and principal value is rupees 1 lakh net proceed is equal to par value plus minus plus is premium minus is discount there is no premium no discount minus flotation cost flotation cost is five percent so one lakh minus five percent which is equal to ninety five thousand and n is equal to ten that is given after we can redeem the preference shares so if we can determine the value that is equal to fourteen point eight seven so So you can uh, proceed with this example you can write it on the notebook and calculate yourself thank you so much if you have any query then text me personally thank you